So good afternoon my fellow human beings, thank you very much for being here with me. And today I want to do a summary of a podcast from Adrian Everhart about the Highly Desirable Women's Podcast. And they are talking about the negotiation terms, conditions and commitment that the character uh, of uh, Dakota Johnson, Anastasia, used to negotiate what she wanted, um, being a, um, a woman that knows who she is and what she wants. Okay? And basically the title of this, of this uh, summary is going to be The Unobtainable, Unobtainable Girl or Woman. Okay, so they begin by um, ex uh, ex saying that in the beginning of the movie, first of all, it's very clear that uh, they say, and I agree, that uh, the movie shouldn't be called The Fifty Shades of Grey. And I don't know why they call it, uh, yeah, because the Christian Grey is the name of the character. And um, they should call it the, sh the Fifty Shades of Red Flags, because it's red flag after red flag. Okay, and it is an, an illusion to that you can change a person that is so um, has so many negative thoughts. Okay, if the person doesn't want to change and develop and progress, nothing will. Okay, not even the love that they say they have. Okay, because you have to be the independent cell, like Bruce Lipton says. Okay, so you need to have the fourth chakra. Open. Organize your thoughts, emotions, and actions to be the highest, best self. Okay? Um, so, uh, according to what they say, is that the character of Anastasia, it is the opposite of the girls that work for Mr. Grey. She's natural, authentic, and clumsy, and she doesn't have those clothes and those high heels. She's just modest and uh, whatever. Okay? So, according to them, they, they say that a man will love you and find you cute even on your worst days. And it is true. I mean, when you love a person, when you like a person, you like them. You know, if they are in, at home with their shorts and if they have the best clothes. Okay. Such as long their character matches outside, in public and in private. Okay, okay. Uh, they continue describing that there is a power struggle. Okay, between both, because Mr. Gray wants to use Anastasia to do whatever she, he wants. And Anastasia knows herself, knows her boundaries, you know, and she knows what she wants. So, it is a fight between, um, a fight between uh, visions, okay? He wants a toy, and she wants uh, a love-lasting, um, long-term relationship with Bliss. Okay, and Mark Gongor has a very good video um, about it. I will link it down below. Okay, he explains that the 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 key to a man's heart is is uh, through sex, and the best way to do it is to postpone it as much as possible. And they will talk about it also uh, in the middle of the conversation. Is that um, is that the the um, all men want sex? Okay. And they only realize they want love when they have dismantled their ego and they realize that they want this person more than they want themselves. This is the, the key point, okay? So, and the way she negotiates is by playing, uh, the, playing the female energy. Uh, soft, but uh, focused and hard. So, she's doing the giggly thing, but she knows exactly what she's doing. She's being playful, playing around. Um, and she says, oh my god, okay, using the, the, the lines that Adrian Everhart says, you say, um, you find your feeling, you sh swift it to warmth, and then you express your boundaries in a giggly way, in a, in, a, in, a, in a feminine way. The feminine energy means magnetism. It means that um, you allow things to happen to you because you attract them. Okay, and the male energy uses logic, okay, to assert himself uh, to get what what that energy wants. Okay, so uh, she's being vulnerable, but she, this means that she says, "This is what I want. This is what I need," and she's not af afraid of of expressing her vulnerabilities, and she's not ex 
or uh, scared of walking away if those emotional needs are not satisfied okay and it's very important that uh, when you are on the dating scene to know your vulnerabilities your vulnerabilities are those that it can be preyed upon such as long you live on the ego you will have vulnerabilities when you have your fourth chakra open you can satisfy your vulnerabilities by yourself you are blossoming and you want a partner to blossom even more okay so and they continue saying that he on the interview is asking questions to her so uh, dr john um, from the book uh, men are from mars and women are from venus he says that the most masculine thing that a man can do is to ask questions and to listen with empathy and the most feminine thing a woman can do is to express her feelings okay to be in the moment in the present moment with her emotions okay uh, so she knows that she's not Anastasia knows that she's not the girl that that is polished and, uh, and that she's clumsy and those things but exactly that the fact that she's different that he likes her okay that she does not try to fit in okay because she knows who she is she's her true self okay and um, and another thing that's very important to add she's not flabbergasted or she's not impressionable by the the luxus by the luxury by the by by all those material three 3d reality the that seduction of the of of the of the um, of the luxus of the the treatment she just wants the 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 bliss of of love and living in a in a in a uh, in a relationship that is um, has a lot of uh, uh, meaning and it is like fun and uh, lovely okay um, and they they um, uh, the, the, the Eva Hart and the lady that she invited talk about how this running and chasing goes so basically um, because Anastasia masters her emotions and her emotions so well so the energy the male energy and the female the masculine energy and the feminine energy within the character of Anastasia are so well defined that and she has a mastery of her emotions and of the of the goal that she wants that is the he's she's the one who's controlling the situation not himself because he spends her t he, he he's always um moving the the threshold of the negotiation okay um okay and there is a moment where she makes fun of him and and where she where she picks on his, on his vulnerabilities huh? and nobody it seems has has ever um, um, picked on mr. Gray's vulnerabilities because he's all powerful all controlling omniscient and omnipresent <laughs> okay so um, and then uh, they also point out that when she goes out and calls him drunk and that she pukes she's again vulnerable and then he wants to nurture her and does the the, the food for her and brings coffee and ta -da -ta 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 -ta. and then he he compliments her she doesn't she doesn't accept it on this case uh, it's very important to accept compliments and you say thank you i'm very flattered and that's it so then they go to the helicopter and the point of the helicopter scene is to that uh, Mr. Gray sees how much pleasure Anastasia has in the moment, okay? And he's enjoying the moment by seeing her having pleasure. And this is, men have pleasure by proxy. They enjoy the moment by proxy because they have less emotions than women do, okay? So that's the first time. Uh, and then one of the, on the postcard, postcard she's talk about that uh, she told to her husband oh I feel so taken care of when you take out the trash and that the husband told her that was the first time I felt appreciated and all I wanted was to to take all the trash all the time outside just to have the same feeling 
So we just want to have this kick of dopamine of being appreciated, okay? Even the universe, if you say thank you to the universe, you are going to get more, okay? So one thing they also talk about is that don't complain on your period, <laughs> okay? That's a point taken because I also don't like when my friends are complaining around me. Okay, so and then after that they talk about the, the fact that he has issues getting close to a woman. That's intimacy, okay? And intimacy is extremely addictive, okay? Um, and she wants the heart and soul connection and he just wants that, the, 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 the flash, okay? So this is the negotiating, okay? Uh, and then they talk, they go to the terms and conditions of the courtship or, or the sex or whatever you want to call it, okay? Um, Esther Burrell has videos also about this, that you should also talk about the, the, the sexual relationship, what it means to you, because sex is to touch other person's soul, okay? So, uh, going back to the Fifty Shades of Grey, um, it's about, I will give you uh, the cars, the dresses, da 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 da, but I will not give you my heart, and that's not what Anastasia wants, okay? So, and this goes back to the point that uh, men will only give you their heart when they realize that you are more, imp the feminine in their lives is more important than their ego and themselves, okay? And that they cannot live without the feeling of being in the in the moment, okay, the joyful, the happiness, so this is going back to the first chakra, okay, so the men, they need to feel needed, so they have to, prov they prov profess, provide and protect, okay, so if the more, pr uh, the more um, 3D uh, um, survival conditions he has, so the more wealth he has, the more uh, the female, the woman is going to feel safe and more creativity, so the more sexual energy, okay? And then the more sexual energy she has, the more she's going to give to the man, and the man, uh, through this energy, is going to increase his solar plexus to be more powerful, okay? Uh, and then, well, this is the negotiation when he realizes he wants to be with her. I want you to be all mine. And then Everhart gives two examples. You have two options. You let it go and then after three or four months, if he does his job right, that he's polite, he's a gentleman, he knows how to behave, he's on his best behavior, then he go, you go from the girlfriend to the, to the wife uh, conversation by asking, where do you see us going? It's very important that you don't, you are not, you have to work on your vulnerabilities and that you are you have to have your emotions and your logic together so the male and the feminine the masculine and the feminine energy okay because when you get a masculine attention is is really good and then you are hooked it's like a drug you know so so you have to be um, paying attention to that and the other option is that is the, you have the second object that says, oh, oh my god, I'm so flattered, but you know, I really don't know if I like you or if we are a match and I want to keep my options open because I've already been a girlfriend and I want to be a wife and while I don't see an offer on the table, I don't see us going many, much further, okay, something like that. So, and in order to avoid getting cramps, okay, in cramps of uh, emotions and you can also say a joke that cramps are it's carbs and if you are on a keto diet you don't eat carbs anyway so you can ignore okay um so and then they are negotiating on the contract and they mentions that uh, you can see how the character the anastasia character um masters her emotions her sexual uh, desires and everything because she has her eyes on the at the end of the of the finishing line so she, it's the postponing of the reward okay so she's postponing the reward as much as she can because until she has uh, she has um, his heart she's not spreading those legs 
Okay. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. so basically, is that I'm choosing what is best for me, even though I really want to have sex. Basically, that's it. Okay. And then uh, we have already talked about it. It's very important to um, to take care of the wounded child. I will leave the links as always down below. It is about and you have to do it yourself, become the independent self, like Bruce Lipton says, by nurturing the wounded child by the feminine and the masculine energy within you. You have to go back, do an introspection, and, and uh, love that inner child so that you can blossom and be the, the, uh, an optimum girl, okay? And then they mention also that the woman needs to live her life to the fullest. You have to have your own goals, your own objectives, your own activities without asking for permission to anyone to have your own money, to do your own things. And then he's curious about what are you doing with your life, okay? Yes, and um, do, 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 do. and then they go to the point where he reveals the misery of his life and why he's so fucked up in those things. Da, 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 da. So and then they go to the to the to the point that he's trying to um, train uh, Anastasia to this reward pain, and this is called the narcissistic attachment. So um, it is. You are devalued and valued on the next day, okay? And this is like a kick, a kick of uh, dopamine or like a kick of cocaine. Okay, okay. You have a peak of, oh, I'm so wonderful and then I'm crap. I'm so wonderful and then I'm crap. I'm so... And this is not healthy. So for that, it's very important to work on your ego, to work on your vulnerabilities, on your negative thoughts. And I've already mentioned this in all my videos, so you can go there and check it out. I will leave also the links down below as usual. And about this, this narcissistic attachment, um, the bondage of, of reward and pain, this only works to people that whose female, feminine and energies are unbalanced. So they are not the independent cell, okay? Uh, and Okay, and then they'll go on saying that as soon as he has something that uh, they, he gets a little bit of intimacy, he runs away. Okay, so um, a doctor, uh, the, the, the writer, that uh, the author of um, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus says that... Um, when, when a couple bonds and there is a lot of intimacy, okay, then men have a lot of estrogen, that's a lot of feminine energy. And this gives him energy or gives him kick. To, to, it's the, it's the, the kick that gives him uh, the, 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 the power to go and work. Okay? So you have intimacy, okay? and then he has his cup full of love with estrogen and then he needs to because then he becomes too feminine the the feminine on himself the feminine energy on himself is too strong and he needs to 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 um, drain that energy by doing something extremely masculine and that is work so that his levels of testosterone are as high as possible so that's the reason why okay um and Going b and then they mentioned that uh, the character of Anastasia, she is a mental challenge to him, okay? Because he has to work for her to get her attention, okay? So she's the unobtainium girl, okay? It's the girl that she knows what he wants until you have to prove yourself to her, not the other way around, because she knows what she wants and who she is, okay? And... Uh, and they go on saying that most women do not know their boundaries. That's true. They don't know who, what they want. And has to do with the fact that we are all adults with... Um, uh, grown adults with wooden children without inside of us. And we need to take care of it. Okay? And Eva Hart says that in order to know your boundaries, you need to have all the scenarios played in your, ha in your head. Like a, a DFD charts. Okay? But actually... 
if you are grounded on your emotions and you are really balanced, you really don't need all this. You just need to know yes or no, yes or no. You know, you know your values and your principles. And if a guy says something stupid, you already know the answer because your heart chakra is gonna tell you. Okay, your intuition is gonna tell you. Okay. So um, basically, what she says is, do not. Oh, the other woman said. Do not bypass your feelings. Do not ignore them because feelings are is information. Okay, be careful with toxic people. That's important. Okay, so that they don't drain your energy and uh, like this you cannot blossom. Be grateful when someone goes out of your way to do something for you. Okay, and uh, Everhart explains that men bond with music, and they. And the last point and most important is that they need to feel they are missing you and they are that they are losing you so it's the principle of scarcity okay so and it's going back to the to the fact that what if I don't see this person ever again in my life okay and um, and her it's it's the the integrity and respect that the woman has for herself is more important than the ego, than the friends, than all the expectations of the society. Until the, she does not get what she wants, she's keeping, she's doing her thing, okay? And the man has to realize in order, in order to be with that woman, he has to provide the space so that can she the most beautiful, the most blossoming, uh, uh, woman okay and this you can also tie it to the tango okay the better the man dances tango the wo more the woman will shine and this is the principle so the less narcissistic the guy is the more the woman will shine okay and like this I finished this uh, summary thank you very much for listening to me Comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell button for durations. There is the link down below. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.